The name of Milashon has become the symbol of Milan and the whole Italy. I believe that she is the symbol of refined elegance expressed through lines and colors, the elegance that is simple, but at the same time incredibly stylish and dainty. Today I had a meeting with Milashon and I told her that I still wear one of her dresses, only on special occasions. <laughs> Ms. Sean, as I noticed, you draw inspiration from painting and other art forms. For instance, I can mention the works of Lucio Fontana and your famous slit. This is absolutely right, I have that picture. Fontana was one of my closest friends, I knew him very well and saw his works published in newspapers. I can say that at some moments he was my source of inspiration, indeed. I kept telling myself, no, Barzini, you're not the kind of person that can wear a dress with such a cut-out. You just couldn't do that. Everyone considered me perfect, but I've never shared this opinion. I like this style, most of all, it's simple and pure. By the way, this dress was a true success. Did you like it? Yes. No doubt I'd like all women to be dressed like the models I've seen here. Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> but still, I'm afraid there won't be many of them. I don't know if there are many women today who can afford chic dresses. They're so expensive. No. My dresses aren't made of gold. I believe that there are not so many designers in past or present whom I can call true artists. In this respect, Mila Sean is a unique artist. She unites high fashion and passion. She captures the spirit of historical moments. Che Mila Schön è un'autrice. I started my career in Milan and my work was successful. Once Giorgini came to me and asked if I wanted to make a show in Florence. I was slightly frightened by that proposal. I was afraid for I lacked in professional experience. It took me little time to prepare for the show. First of all, I tried to stick to my own style and stay true to my own feelings. I didn't want to pretend I was eager to realize my aspiration for purity and simplicity that I felt inside me. I came to Florence and my show was a great success. I guess this show is the most memorable to me. 
un grosso successo ed è forse la sfilata che io ricordo di più nella mia vita. Quando noi per caso in un solo istante ci guardiamo indifferentemente e pensiamo in fondo a cosa siamo quando improvvisamente ritroviamo tutti quei momenti che dobbiamo ricordare per poterci amare. I adore white color. I also like black, but there are many other colors that belong to me. I mean, they live inside my imagination. I've always collected multicolored scraps of paper and patches of fabric. They helped me to create the tints and combinations I liked. So finally, I got a whole lot of them. For instance, my famous purple color, it's really celebrated now. I had a cupboard full of various scraps and patches of all colors and tints. There were five tinges of light blue color. So every time I prepared the collection, the first thing to do was to select colors. I would keep the samples on my desk for three or four days, would mix and scrutinize them for a long time. I often couldn't decide which color to take, and then I would just put them all together, and that was it. Those were the main colors of the collection. The famous Milano Collezioni show presents the major fashion trends. Many people gathered here today. The Mila Shon new fragrance for men was a great present for the guests. It's an exquisite perfume, elegant and dynamic. It perfectly reflects the character of a modern man. I started by watching closely the designing process. For when I'm telling my assistant to change something, she must be sure that my recommendations are constructive, that my way of designing is really good. Beautiful models are strolling along the catwalk. Maria Fanfani watches the show with great attention. The girls are demonstrating the spring summer Prada Porter collection created by an outstanding Italian fashion designer, Mila Sean, the master of elegance. People who worked with me were absolutely confident of my talent and that helped me a lot. I guess that I managed to achieve great results due to their support. They believed in me. These are the outfits that again became generally recognized recognized due to the genius of the designer, excellent tailoring and original cut. That's what we call the right choice. I worked as a seamstress, a stylist, I had a lot of occupations. I didn't think much of how to call my profession, that was just me. This is the line that can definitely be called classic. Each garment is the result of thorough work and is full of innovative ideas. Nevertheless, they're simply brilliant. Mila tried to create chic refinement, but only with a touch of glamour. But in the end, her style became really dazzling and flashy. The collections presented by Mila Sean are especially remarkable for long and short evening gowns. You'll see incredible combinations of black and white, white and blue, mixed with many other color variations. Thus, the designer creates a unique palette full of exquisite tinges and contrasts. She wasn't spoiled by success. She stays true to her inimitable style. At the end of the show, the audience greets Mila Sean, a brilliant fashion designer who once again made the traditions of Italian fashion generally accepted throughout the world. The works of Mila Schoen are very personal. Her art is a peculiar and truly Italian reinvention of the French elegance. Sans amour, sans souci, sans problème. Oui, la belle vie. On est seul, on est libre et on traîne.
It's quite simple for me to create beauty, because I see it and feel it. And when I see something ugly, I feel it even more distinctly and reject it. Location, the island of Capri. The subject, fashion and sea. The idea, in the water, under the water, out of the water. I would never allow obscenity in my clothes. Nevertheless, I created the collection for the Capri show. It consists only of swimwear. Abstract images, harmonious colors, elegant tailoring, simple and refined models combined with wide-brimmed hats designed by Mila Sean. I presented bikini swimsuits like those women wear today, but I embellished the models of clothes with lavish embroidery. It was a real triumph. The collection also presents evening wear, for instance, Snow White's mini with sparkling embroidery worn just over the swimsuit. Though today bearing the body is in vogue. I believe that a man should see some secret in every woman. It's not the best decision to expose everything. Officials, businessmen, journalists, people invited by Giuliana Lustri, the new director of the National Airlines, Alitalia, North Department, all gathered in a grand hotel in Milan to watch a unique spectacle, a hot couture show for Mila Sean. It was really a fantastic day. They offered me to design a uniform for the employees of Alitalia Airlines. I was thinking over this proposal for a long time, but I knew what I was doing when I chose those two colors. I adore the combination of green and blue. That's why I used it for the design of uniform. The stewardesses of our national airlines will wear a new uniform. But it's not a simple uniform, it's a true example of high fashion. There are several combinations, one for each season. The main innovation is the color. The designer Mila Sean called it Italian green. It was a tough task because there were so many girls. I got used to making each dress individually according to one's personal measures. There were many girls and they were all different. To make the uniform, I took the measures of each girl. I met them all personally and looked if the uniforms suit them. I also asked each of them about their expectations. And here is the new uniform in new colors. It was an immense success. I traveled around the world by air, and in every airport I saw girls wearing my uniform. I was delighted. I was completely happy. I was in friendly relations with all my clients in Italy and abroad. Among them were high-ranking officials, even royal persons, but I won't tell you the names. There are some things that can't be forgotten and some moments that are of special value to me. Ci sono delle volte che mi rimangono delle cose e dei momenti che mi fanno molta tenerezza. I wish this young lady to achieve great success. To be honest, I wish she became the second Mila Schoen. I want her to become famous. I hope this Mila Schoen can come back in some sense, because as we see, modern fashion lacks purity and simplicity. I guess the three major elements that made her really great are definitely the double-sided fabric, lace detailing in classic elegant suits, and the original use of colors. Indeed, there are many elements that make her creative work really unique.
I was quite strict, but all my colleagues loved me. And still today, when some of them greet me in the street, I'm very happy and answer them with great joy. I was so afraid of her. She was cold and passionate at the same time. It's hard to explain. In some sense, our communication inspired me. Due to her, I even walked out on the runway. I've never done it before. At that time, photo models didn't take part in the shows. Benedetta was an important person for me, especially when we were making photographs. She used to say, fine, fine, that's good, very good. Yes, that's the way it should be. But no general phrases of appraisal like terrific, fabulous, like people often say. No, she never said that. She was quite reserved, saying, that's good, come on, now walk slowly back and forth. Now she's a close friend of mine. I'm really grateful to her for all she did for me. I loved her very much. I liked everything that she was doing, the seams, the double-sided fabrics, the choice of colors, the forms of colors, the style of tailoring. These were the human relations that later tied me almost with all people, especially with those who collaborated with me and helped me in my life. She became a true phenomenon of the fashion world. Thank you for everything. I love you.